This is a very brief lecture on geologic time. Geologic time is broken down to eons, eras, periods, and epochs. Eons represent the longest periods of time, followed by the eras, followed by the periods, and last epochs. Over on the sides shows you how long the periods lasted. These were in terms of millions of years ago. This column shows major events or life forms that existed during those time periods. Scientists divide Earth's history into eras based on major changes of life forms, not by how long the period actually lasted. So all the different periods and eras last at a different time. Here's a diagram that shows the basic breakdown of the life forms. During the late Proterozoic, we're finally getting more of a diversity of life forms. Cambrian is known for the fishes. Devonian is known for the fish, specifically the jawed fish, and the first amphibians arrive. During the Carboniferous, this is where we have a lot of scaled trees and ferns. Pennsylvania is very well known for the swamps that produce the coal that Pennsylvania ha has now. At the end of the Permian, we have a massive extinction. Triassic, we get the first mammals and the first dinosaurs. Jurassic, we have the first birds. Cretaceous, we have the first primates. And at the end of the Cretaceous, we have another massive extinction. During the Tertiary, we have mammals diversify. And during the Quaternary, humans arrive. During the Precambrian era, the Earth's layers, the atmosphere, the oceans, all formed during the Precambrian. At the very end of the Precambrian, during the Proterozoic, the first bacteria formed. The root word pre means before, so it was before the Cambrian. Here's a video that some students had made that summarizes the Precambrian era. First comes the Hadean Eon. During this time, our solar system is still forming. The Earth is forming along with the Sun. So here we have a lot of matter being pulled together by gravity and condensing and compressing and this will form our Earth. So there's no atmosphere in terms of what we have today. Instead we've got carbon dioxide, nitrogen, methane, no oxygen. Here's how the moon formed. We have an object about the size of Mars comes in and collides with the Earth and this will form our moon. So it pretty much vaporized, turning into dust, and now it's going to recollect. Gravity will pull it together and condense it, forming the moon. The Earth is getting hit with a bunch of meteors and meteoroids. This 
contains a little bit of water, and this is where our oceans came from. There was a lot more bombardment early in the formation of the solar system because there was a lot of debris flying, flying around the solar system. So we finally have single-celled organisms. There were high levels of ultraviolet radiation because there was very little atmosphere to protect us. We still have microscopic single-celled organisms. The atmosphere at this time, we have 75% nitrogen, 15% carbon dioxide relatively no oxygen yet. This short video talks about the Proterozoic Eon. We start to get continents solidifying and cooling down to form land. This is through the process of plate tectonics. The volcano releases carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. The carbon dioxide will react with the atmospheric moisture and create acid rain. The Earth had days that only lasted 18 hours because it spun much faster than it does today. The Earth is slowly uh, slowing its spin. We get lots of diversity in life forms in the ocean. Then we have a mass extinction which marks the end of the Proterozoic. We have a continent that breaks up, creating Laurentia and Gondwanaland.
During the Paleozoic era, we have the first fish, the first land plants, the first amphibians, and the first reptiles. Pangaea even formed during this time. The root words paleo means old, and zoic means life, so the Paleozoic era is the era of old life. During the Mesozoic, we had the first mammal and the first dinosaur. The Mesozoic era is very well known for the age of the dinosaurs, but we can't forget about the mammals because they formed here too. At the very end of the Mesozoic, we have the extinction of the dinosaurs. Meso is a root word meaning middle. So of the three eras, the Paleozoic, Mesozoic, and Cenozoic, the Mesozoic is in the middle of the Paleozoic and the Cenozoic. During the Cenozoic, we have the formation of the Himalayan mountains. We also have the beginning and the end of the last ice age, and the first humans appear. Ceno is a root word meaning recent, so this is the most recent era, and this is the one we're currently in. This short video shows a scale model of the geologic time. If we take the entire geologic history of the Earth and shrink it down to 24 hours, so we take 4.6 billion years, and we shrink it down to just 24 hours, how long would some things come about? So how long does it take for land plants to come about? So first of all, MYA stands for millions of years ago. BYA would stand for billions of years ago. And we have different subdivisions of time. We have eons, eras, periods, and epochs. There's our clock. We have 24 hours in the day. Let's start at midnight. So at midnight, the Earth formed. It takes three hours for meteorite bombardment. 4 a.m., the origin of life. 9 formations are rocks forming on the bottom of the ocean floor. Okay, 8.20 p.m. we finally have seaweed. So from midnight until 8 o'clock at night we finally have seaweed. Trilobites is actually a Pennsylvania state fossil. It was a little critter that sort of crawled on the bottom of the ocean floor. So here at 9.52 p.m., so we started at midnight, went all through the morning and afternoon and evening, now we're back at 9.52 p.m. It took that time to form land plants. So this is the first time we've actually have something on land now. Pennsylvania is known for its coal swamps. At 10.56 p.m. we finally have dinosaurs. With only about an hour to go, we finally have dinosaurs. Eleven through nine, we find the mammals. Usually, typically, small little rodents with with a minute and a half, a minute and fifteen seconds, we f we finally have humans arriving. So, have a twenty-four hour period. Humans only arrived in the last minute and a half. That's pretty incredible. <laughs> 